it came to my attention that there's actually a somewhat viable Desert Obelisk deck. So of course I had to play it. So the shell for enabling this is Tortolan Pilgrim plus Potion of Illusion. So basically you can get infinite one mana Tortolan Pilgrims and infinite one mana whatever minion in your deck. And the other spells you play with the Pilgrim are Blizzard and Frost Nova. So basically every turn you just freeze your opponent's board and then make infinite copies of whatever you want. People have played this with like Nightblade and probably some other stuff. But Desert Obelisk is definitely the spiciest take on this I've seen. Sometimes the deck does just kind of fail if you draw into Double Potion of Illusion because then you can't go infinite. But we already want to play Sphere of Sapience anyway for consistency. And sometimes we can use it to put a Potion of Illusion on the bottom of the deck so we don't have to worry about that. We also play Lorekeeper Polkelt to find the Pilgrims pretty consistently. And the Polkelt does put the Potion of Illusion sort of toward the top of our deck. But we can actually just usually win before we draw into both of them, even after playing the Polkelt. The damage after playing Pilgrim does ramp up pretty quickly. So other than all that combo stuff, we've just got some stall in the deck. Doomsayer and Depth Charge, those go with the freeze spells we're already playing. Animated Broomstick can help us kill some things in the mid-game, and it's not too bad on our Pilgrim turns either. Bone Wraith and Cartoot Defender for some pretty nice taunts, and we've got an Earthen Ring Farseer, which can potentially be infinite healing later in the game. I think I hard mulligan for the turtle against priest. Might play depth charge next turn just as a wand thief comboer, but we'll see. Well, there's the Pilgrim. I think next turn is going to be Depth Charge to try to curve nicely into my 4 drops. And then with Mana Saber I can play Pilgrim on 7. I think as long as I don't get unlucky, like drawing Double Potion or not drawing Desert Obelisk, this matchup is... this game is probably going to be pretty easy. Conjurer's Calling could be pretty okay on turn 5 for my Bone Wraith. The other cards didn't really seem very useful at all. Alright. He's not even interested in trying to figure out if he can kill the Depth Charge, that's fine. Alright, there's a Desert Obelisk, so I actually just feel really good about this game right now. As long as I don't draw a double potion. A simple step. Ten cards, you gotta coin one of those one cost spells. Holy smite, sure. I wanted to conjure's calling this anyway. That's fine. This Frenzied Felwing is kind of pathetic, but whatever. You don't take the walks, see? This guy likes one cost spells, huh? Why does he like one cost spells so much? Probably just a nice frost bolt. Yeah. 
easy pilgrim, I think. My problem in this game might be hand space. But, uh... You don't actually need that much hand space. Like, even with just... Like, your last two cards can just be Obelisk Pilgrim over and over again. Good old Potion of Illusion. I have nine cards in hand. I guess I just do this again. I overdraw here, but I actually just don't think I need a single card from my deck this game. The only card I kind of want to draw is Sphere of Sapiens. But it's pretty unimportant, I would say. Wonder if I can kill him this turn. Your mind is not your own. Please don't steal my desert obelisk, that would be so rude. Are these Spellburst I assume is after, right? So yeah, he probably guarantees stealing my O5. Dance, Dance. Kind of annoying. Definitely not gonna be able to kill him here, I think. Oh, that's a terrible draw. I think I play the Pilgrim before the second Desert Obelisk. That way my first two things in play are one of each, which is what I want to guarantee. And then every Pilgrim I play at this point is guaranteed to get me one of these. And then here I just play another one of these, because whatever. Uh, hero powering the Pyromancer actually does 5 face damage, pretty much. Oh god, please kill that Desert Obelisk. Oh no, what if he has two Desert Obelisks of his own? <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck. Okay. You got Pilgrims instead of too many Desert Obelisks. This is fine. He did put a lot of stats in play, which is pretty obnoxious. Alright. Do I have a guaranteed lethal here? I can Frostbolt this thing down to 5. I mean, there's just no way to deal with all these stats. Um, I'm actually... Hmm. Not 100% sure if my Pilgrim gets more Pilgrims. I guess if I just play both of these, it's guaranteed to get a Pilgrim. Only one Pilgrim. I might have screwed this up. Maybe I just hard cast Blizzard here. I think this turn could have been prettier. He could get double obelisk. You're in my hands now. Could hit like a holy nova or breath here, but he's pretty much guaranteed dead next turn.
Attendance up to nine. A hero power here, so I need five of these to go off. Yeah, I'm pretty sure just hero power obelisk was lethal here. Doomsayer is probably kind of okay against Paladin. Mana Saber is not bad. Die, Silverhand Recruit. The best is a great Do I just play a Doomsayer into that? Probably not super easy for him to kill the Doomsayer here. Lightforge Zealot's probably the only one. He can definitely have, like, double buff here, but that's fine. Next turn is maybe hit with this, and then I have Bully plus Broomstick to kill. I do love a good study. That's pretty obnoxious. Probably still Broomstick Bully. I don't know, I might have to coin for it. Burning the coin kind of sucks, but if I burn the coin, I get to keep the Mana Saber around. Kind of nice to have a 5-1 against a 7-5. Obviously as a Divine Shield now, but using a Divine Shield against a 1 health minion is not great either. So here I could Blizzard. Next turn could be Polkelt Nova. Turn 8 could be Pilgrim, hit with Mana Saber, so double Pilgrim? It's not really great. I think this is the play. That is both my broomsticks down. But the broomsticks haven't really felt essential. I think if they can just land a nice couple kills like that, they're fine. Oh, does that shut off his Lightforge Zealots? That's good to keep in mind. This thing only buffs beasts, right? Yeah, so probably doesn't do much. He did copy the uh, Library of Wisdom, though. Hey, I found a... Oh, wait, yeah, I played a... Played the thing last turn. Duh. So, I could actually just play Pilgrim here. He's only showing four, and I know I don't have to worry about True Silvers for a while. So I think I actually just play this here. Wait, what? I cannot wait to read this. Oh, it's no neutral cards. It's not only paladin cards. Frickin' soul fragments, dude. Okay, well, I'm still at 11, so it's hard for him to kill me with weapons. You're in my um, do I have a preference between Blizzard or Nova here? I don't think there's any reason to prefer Nova. Oh wait, no, I'm playing Potion of Illusion first. But yeah, I think there's... I think Blizzard's fine. Oh, 
All right. Gotta be a Libram of Hope, right, if he's targeting himself. Okay. So a Blizzard is gonna kill all my shit here, but that's fine. Oh, I've only got one Freeze left in the deck, actually. That's fine, though. I might actually just hard cast a Blizzard here. Maybe I just play Doomsayer here. Developing these Pilgrims doesn't actually do anything. Sure. Yes, yes, that's a very sturdy dragon you've got over there. cards in hand. I'm fine to overdraw here. My next card is a card to hit defender, which I already have a card to hit defender, but it costs one mana instead of six. Luckily, Lightforge Crusader doesn't really generate damage very often. So I actually just feel pretty good about winning this game. Got eight damage here. I guess I just Nova and hit him in the face. So next turn I drew draw Desert Obelisk, but I don't know if I actually need it to win. He's dead on board currently. Alright, sure. So let's go ahead and trade some shit off. I think I've got plenty of health now. I don't really care about copying more card hit defenders. Definitely playing this. I need to play two pilgrims. I don't have to kill this, but it's kind of just annoying and in the way. This probably could have been cleaner, but I've got one mana desert obelisks now. Should be hard to lose from this position. These card hit defenders have actually been pretty annoying this game, but it probably doesn't matter much. All 
All right, so let's trade some shit off. Eight cards in hand. Maybe I just hard cast Frost Nova to get it out of the way here. I don't... How many of these things can I play this turn? I don't think I can ever guarantee lethal because this board has too much health. This is my last Desert Obelisk, so I don't really want to risk it here. There is a 1 in 5 chance that I draw my last Potion of Illusion next turn, which would suck. I feel bad for you. <laughs> wonder if I ever missed Lethal last turn by not playing Blizzard. It was like AoEing this, and he had a couple other things that were nice to AoE. I don't think so. Blizzard costs a lot of mana last turn. Probably Blizzard this turn, honestly. There's out so many stats. Could run this in. Blizzard. Pump hero power. Probably not worth it. I think this should be guaranteed lethal though, right? Oh, actually all I have to do is trade here. But I can play some more obelisks. 